Yes, a guy is a guy, and the lady that's on the line right now is the lady that sang that song. And seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, I don't know how many. Doris Day, how are you, honey? I'm fine. Oh, um, gosh. Except that when I heard Tony, oh, my God. You know, I he, know. he just blew me away. I know. He did. He almost had me in tears. Oh, uh, he's such a sweet person. And and so talented, and uh, and you know he did a couple of my shows when I had my series, uh -huh. and we had a great time. We really did. He's darling. He's just wonderful to be with. You know. Talking about your shows, uh, I have a couple of them right here, quite a few of them, and uh, I thought we might do one today. And I'm going to try to uh, you know, not play the whole thing, but I mean, do your intro. You know, we'll kind of jump around and then bring in uh, maybe uh, Gordon McRae. Oh! Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, uh, that would be good. Well, he wasn't on my series. 1952. 25th of April, 1952. Oh, you mean as a guest? Yes, oh, yes. yes. Oh, as I a... thought you meant that, that, that you thought he was on my show. Mm. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, and we can do that one. Would you like to hear what? Maybe T for Two or You Cut With Him? Oh, you're talking about the movie. No, this is uh, uh, Love to Be With You. Gordon McRae, Donald O'Connor, Ray Bolger, and all your guests on your uh, day show, remember? In, no. Yes. <laughs> they were all in, they're all in 1952, and their whole set, folks can get these things. Uh, they're wonderful. The fabulous guests, and then they used to, you used to do little things with them, you know, a little funny uh, uh, things with them, and, oh. uh, like Alan Ladd and the Crosby Show and so forth. Can you believe that I don't remember that? That's okay. It's amazing to me. Well, when we play them, it'll you be fun. You know what? When I think about about my uh, my you know my work, um, I was so busy. I went nonstop. I really did. And so many things. When they come back to me, when I start hearing them, then I can remember. But oh Lord, I just uh, I was working all the time. I know. I'm I'm just looking at. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, biography here on songs, hit record singles with Les Brown's Band of Renown, Sentimental Journey went to one million, uh, My Dreams Are Getting Better All the Time, a million sales. As a solo performer, It's Magic, a million sales. And songs like Again, Love Somebody, uh, with uh, Buddy Clark, of course. And it just went on and on and on. I, I think, uh, where did I see it? It was somewhere around uh, seven or 800 uh, songs that you uh, recorded. I know. I, I when I received the Bear Group, yes. remember that? Yes. Um, I I couldn't believe it. I kept looking at all these titles, and I said, I don't think I had time. I know to do all of this you know, singing. Uh, but I would make a film and go bingo right, you know, to um, the uh, recording sessions. Well, they take you right into the studio. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -oh. No, you know, you didn't get to rest. <laughs> <laughs> They just put you to work, well, but Ted, that's what I love, so it, it was never a hardship. I just enjoyed it so much. You know, I was so sure. fortunate, Ed, to be able to make films and and uh, and a, a wonderful series that I had, you know, such great people with me, and it was such fun. And then, all, then the recordings, that was the greatest, to meet all the musicians and see them again and record, and, <laughs> and like you said, Ted Nash. Did you say the uh, you you had to feed them? I had to what? Feed them? Feed them? I don't think so. Oh, I thought you said you had to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I, I said that. I, that sounds... I, I used to bring uh, donuts and stuff like that to the <laughs> sessions, but that's about all. Yeah, that's eating. about I, all. <laughs> no, it was just it was great, you know. And Frank Comstock, who just called you, you know, he's such a marvelous arranger. Oh, I know. With Les, and then did he did things for me in the, in films that were just fabulous. Did you ever uh, record with Frank DeBall? Oh yes, he was I on. Can't, I can't just pinpoint what it was that right. I did, but I, Frank lived across the street from me did he? in Toluca Lake, and uh, he and and uh, Marty and I and his wa darling wife Grace. Uh, we're together a lot, and then you know he did a lot of my sessions. Oh, I loved Frank's work. He was on one of our trips, you know, where we take our guests. And the, oh, the, was he? Yeah, the, I know the people. Uh, it's hard for me to believe that London and Paris and uh, Timbuktu are listening to us. Australia, they're all listening to you. They take the day off a lot of them. 
Can now, you imagine? You know, it work. it's just unbelievable when I am told all of this. And um, I, it, it, right now, it gives me a chance, and I didn't rehearse this, but it gives me a chance to say hello to everyone, and I just love all these people who who like, you know, what I've done, and um, it just it, it amazes me. And I want to tell them that um, I send my love, and uh, if I owe anyone... Um, a letter or a thank you from a gift, you know, because they sent a gift. I just want to uh, clarify this right now that my house has been torn apart. I had to redo my entire house. Can you believe this? Oh, that's what I heard. Yes. You're redoing. Well, not, you know, not being married and having a man around <laughs> who would take a look once in a while and say, uh oh, this wood is rotten. <laughs> well, I didn't have that. And um, all of a sudden, the house looked great to me. The outside, the paint was all sure. fine. And, but when they, when they took some of the wood away, oh my, you, you wouldn't believe you, you, what you see. You don't get upset, do you, when you hear a, a certain honk on a horn as I go by your house? I don't really hear them. Oh, oh good. All right, because I always My honk. house sits you know, way back I from, give, the, from the highway. Yeah, I know, and I don't want to drive in there, but I give it a doot, doot, doot. You do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry I missed you. <laughs> but you know what? It's, um, I wanted, what I wanted to say is that um, because I had um, roofers, painters, and carpenters all at one time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can visualize that in a big house like this, there was no place to go. And with my dogs, <laughs> who were very um, uh, upset because of the men being all around, oh, sure. um, it was really something. And it, we've been doing this since last June. <gasps> my God. Since June. Since June. And so I just want to tell all my darling fans uh, and most more than that, it's friends for me. Mm -hmm. um, that um, I didn't have the time to really answer and thank people for the wonderful gifts and and the loving cards that they sent. I save all my cards a whole year, always. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have the time to sit down and do this work because they were pounding on the roofs and they were. It was incredible, and so uh, and we're still doing it. But it won't be long now, and I'll be finished. Oh, but I just wanted to tell them that we also had um, a thing happen in the, with the roof. And right where I was working on a big table in an office in my house, and uh, 